From horrifying haunted houses to scream-worthy scare zones, Six Flags Fright Fest has become one of the go-to destinations for Halloween-loving adrenaline junkies all over Texas, and this year promises to be the most terrifying one yet. So I'm right here in Fiesta, Texas, where in just a little bit, it's going to transform into the much anticipated Fright Fest. And rumor has it that this year is gonna be different from years past. The attractions are gonna be edgier, much more terrifying and detailed, but all in a fun way. But before I jumped into the scares, I checked in with communications director, Sydney Purvis, to learn a little bit more about this year's frightening attractions. So Sydney, on a scale from one to 10, how scared am I gonna be tonight? I would say at least a nine or a 10, you've gotta be. I've gotta be. <laughs> okay, so our show was out here last year and our host, Erin, was incredibly scared. She gave me some advice, but what's gonna be different about this year? Well, this year we have six free haunted houses, five scare zones, a number of shows as well, and added to the mix, we have a brand new haunted house this year. Midnight Museum of the Macabre has strange curiosities and oddities. It's kind of a freaky sideshow that you go through. Brand new in Spasburg. Go through that, and then as you exit, you're in one of our scare zones, Wicked Hollow, with gypsies and witches. So it doesn't stop. The scare does not stop. No, you know what? The park is entirely transformed for Fright Fest. Soul Harvest is right behind us here. Okay. It's the brand new scare zone. You're kind of caught in an abandoned farmhouse feeling. And then we have House of Bones in the Zaragoza Theater. It's an entirely new show with a live band, which is terrific. Our entertainers are wonderful professionals. Yeah. I just, I'm so excited for tonight. And I'm definitely going to get back to you and tell you how scared I was. Absolutely. <laughs> You'll have to do that. So I decided to check out the Midnight Museum of the Macabre before it got too dark and trust me, you've never experienced a museum quite like this. It features a variety of disturbing remnants from past sideshows, gruesome exhibits with the goal to add a few new oddities to the fiendish collection. I am your host, Professor Caligari, and this is Midnight Museum of the Macabre. Now, if you are ready, please follow me. Next, we took a walk down the park to Soul Harvest, one of the newest and most spine-tingling scare zones, and we were just in time for The Awakening. Okay, so that siren that's going off, it goes off every night at 7 p.m., and it means they're releasing the monsters into the park, so yeah, things are about to get pretty intense around here. Then it was off to Blood Bayou, a haunted trail where you never know what is lurking around each corner. <laughs> oh man, I can't see anything. <laughs> hey! Yes, I think I am. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, oh. Ah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the blood bayou. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I've been to a few scare zones, a couple of haunted houses now, but I'm actually really terrified of this one because I don't like clowns and that's all that this is. Clowns. Welcome to Circus Berserkus, a terrifying display of demented clowns, sinister freaks, and horrifying creatures tormenting any living soul who dare wander through including myself. Okay, so apparently I'm gonna put these 3D glasses on. Mm -hmm. Super stylish. I'm gonna flash light to see what I wanna see. Scare myself, I don't know, I'm nervous. Uh, I don't know what's going on.
That was really scary. I, I may not be as brave as I thought. After all that screaming, I can't think of a better way to end the night than by getting a bite. So good. That is delicious. And watching the new House of Bones performance. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Okay, so now that my heart rate is back down to normal, I'm going to head home and take a little bit of a breather, but believe me, I cannot wait to come back next year to see what other terrifying attractions they've added. Thank you so much to Six Flags. They truly terrified me and scared me, but all in a fun way. Ready for a spectacular time in San Antonio? Just visit the link below to learn more.